We're out here play testing the Diodora Speed B icon. Come check it out. It's super exciting to see that Diodora is making new shoes for tennis players and this one quickly went into my top three shoes of the year. I know it's still early in the year, but previously I loved the Speedstar K from Diodora and this one's just an even more performance oriented shoe and the second I got my feet in it, I could feel that it was super responsive underfoot. It fit my medium width feet really well and uh, it's just really comfortable but still very stable and speedy and I really leaned into this shoe. The traction was amazing for me. I felt very confident when moving aggressively. Um, the outsole is wearing, it's holding up really well for me. I know some of the other play testers, especially on the men's side, are kind of wearing through that rubber a bit faster, but for me, it's holding up well. And I know some of the other play testers also had some durability issues with the upper. I just am seeing a slight crease on the toe box. I'll let the other play testers who had those issues talk more about that. But all in all, really loving this shoe. I would actually compare it to an Asics Court FF2. It's kind of that blend of stable and stability, but still speed and comfort, and I'm really loving the shoe. When I think of Diodora tennis shoes, I think of comfort and the beak icon really delivered. When I first put these on, I could really feel that underfoot cushioning. It was super plush, really soft underfoot. Really enjoyed that. Now I have wider feet and there was a bit of a break in for me on the upper. It was a little snug at first, but it loosened up as I played and it was never so uncomfortable that I, I felt any pain. I could just really feel it on the sides of my feet. When I was moving around the court, I really noticed the shoes were off, were quite sticky. That stickiness was a little bit, sometimes I felt a little stuck on the court, but it did get smoother as I wore them. I still prefer just a slight bit more give on my shoes. And they're also quite squeaky, so that, that was a, reminded me of the K, uh, Asics Court FF2, like Michelle had mentioned. As the play test wore on, I felt that the uppers were uh, stretching a little bit, but I was still felt pretty supported. And I, even though shoes were really cushioned, I still felt that they were really light. And for me, they're holding up quite well. I think if you're looking for a shoe that feels lightweight, but feels really soft underfoot, that you should try out these uh, B-Icons. I've been a big fan of Diodora shoes. I wore them in my juniors and I've thoroughly enjoyed play testing them throughout my time here at Tennis Warehouse. And seeing these big icons, I was super excited to get them right on my feet. And as soon as I did, I was very happy with what I felt. I have the narrowest foot on this play test and I thought that the shoe fit, fit my foot just nicely. It was true to size, the toe box had enough room inside but there wasn't any extra for me and the rest of the shoe fit my foot snugly. Now the comfort underneath the shoe is super plush, just what Diodora is known for underneath the heel, the midfoot, the forefoot, everything felt great as well as the heel had enough cushioning and the tongue to make me feel nice and comfortable moving around. I did not have any break in period and I thought the upper didn't have any, any sort of pinching so I felt it nicely molded around my foot as well. Some other positives I found was the durability. I thought the shoe was very durable. I put 15 plus hours on the shoe and I don't see anywhere on the outsole or the, um, the toe bumper. And the weight. Now it's not going to be the lightest shoe but I thought it felt really nice on my foot. I was able to move aggressively and really didn't have to think about the weight at all which is what I look for in a shoe. Now as the play test wore on, I did notice that the upper continued to kind of loosen up a little bit and this caused just a little bit of a small issue for me. I ended up using that last eyelid to try to get a more locked in feel and was retying my laces the later on in the play test just to try to keep it as locked as possible. Lastly, I noticed on the upper that it was starting to crease about couple hours into the play test and I was starting to see a little bit of separation between the mesh and the seam on my left foot and it continued as I play tested and I actually ended up getting two holes. However, when I investigated further, it looks to just be a cosmetic of the upper mesh. There's a material underneath that seems to be nice and secure and it hasn't really affected the performance of the shoe overall. In the end, players looking for high comfort and durability should check out this V-Icon. For more information on the shoe or any others, please check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.